you to imagine the world's perfect place for raising beef, what would that look like? It looks like this. It's Canada, and we put the best of it into our beef. moves to the beat of progress. And no one knows its pulse 
like BDO Youth Bank. With leading scale and reach, the expertise and local knowledge to connect you to Philippine business. BDO Unibank. We find ways. Centennial College has helped me in many ways. It has helped me um, improve my communication and my people skills as well. I really recommend Centennial College as an institution here in Canada. We started with a big idea to digitize the dictionary. That turned into a global company pursuing even bigger ideas to be digital and to help companies realize the world changing power of their digital information. Open Text now provides its customers a complete information management solution, allowing them to organize, integrate, and protect their data and content as it flows through business processes inside and outside the organization. And that's still the core of our mission, to bring our people, our customers, and our communities together to use information as a competitive advantage to change the world. For Richard, we're poor in sickness and in health. Bro, ang saya maging bachelor. You're happy and definitely you are free. But you know what? When you meet that special someone, you'll know she's the one. Always keep an open mind and open heart, bro. There'll be a lot of adjustments along the way. Magsha-share kayo ng lahat ng mga bagay. I mean, bahay, kwarto, banyo. 
<laughs> a lot of things. But you know what? You also share your goals and dreams together. That's what's beautiful. For richer or poorer in sickness and in health. Okay, while you're young, you need to secure your health and your finances. And not just for yourself, okay? Just like what I have. With a Sun Life Health Protection Plan. With Sun Life as your partner in health, you can be sure you'll be ready for forever. And I'm telling you, it's worth it. This is for you. You, who started from just a hobby to the next-gen businessman. You, the work hard, save harder kind of guy. The goal getter who gets what she wants. Everything keeps moving forward because the world changes quickly and so should banking. So we're always evolving to give all you need to keep you moving ahead. Union Bank, it's all in you. These are the supporters who actually make events like this possible. And I'd like to thank them all and every one of them and urge that you patronize them for these purposes. Um, we now have special messages. We are very fortunate in having special messages of these from Canadian ministers in Ottawa. And the two ministers we're always very particularly interested in, obviously the minister responsible for international trade and she will be giving us a message. The second minister we're interested in is the Minister for um, in, uh, Diversity and Inclusion, particularly given the number of Filipinos spread all over Canada who are contributing to Canada's economy and social life and culture. So we have those two messages. Um, then we will have a message from the Philippine, the outgoing party Philippine, Ambassador to Canada, His Excellency Rodez. He'll be giving us a message. And finally, shortly after that, before we get on to the main entertainment, we will have a message from our own, one and only, Peter MacArthur, Ambassador of Canada to the Philippines. So can we now show these messages? Hello, everyone. It's Mary Ng, your Member of Parliament for Markham Thornhill and the Minister of International Trade, Expert Promotion, Small Business and Economic Development. I wanna wish everyone a very happy Canada Day. Let's take today to celebrate the beautiful country we call home and recognize the people and the places that make this country so great. July 1st continues to remind us of what truly makes Canada so special. Our beautiful landscapes, our rich diversity, our belief in equality and our compassion for others. And I'm particularly proud to have a reputation for being nice. While we have faced the biggest health and economic crisis during this pandemic, we have also worked together to navigate the uncertainty and to look out for one another. That's what we Canadians do. There's always more that we can do to progress as a country and as a people, and we will. In our Canadian way, we'll do it together. I hope every Canadian joins in the celebrations across the country from coast to coast to coast and reflect on the many reasons that we love Canada. Happy Canada Day. Hello everyone, bonjour tout le monde. I'm Ahmed Hussein, Canada's Minister for Housing and Diversity and Inclusion. I want to begin by thanking CanCham for putting together this amazing global event that is bringing so many people together. You know, throughout Canada in June, we celebrated Filipino Heritage Month, a month to reflect on and celebrate the immense contributions that Filipino Canadians have made and continue to make to our great country. And today on Canada Day, we also take the chance to reflect on the diversity that makes Canada such an amazing country. To those uh, who are celebrating at the Glass Pavilion in Makati, thank you for joining us. And to those who are joining us virtually, happy Canada Day. Merci beaucoup tout le monde. Friends, ladies and gentlemen, I join all the members and guests of the Canadian Chamber of Commerce of the Philippines on this historic celebration of Canada Day. And we also gladly join 
all our other Canadian friends in celebrating this important occasion. After more than two years, finally, of health and safety restrictions brought about by this pandemic, we are slowly but surely returning to our old customs and ways. Our countries have made vital progress in understanding the pandemic and how to mitigate it. And we all welcome the gradual lifting of pandemic protocols and the concurrent increase in public activities. We are still trying to grasp the long-term impact of the pandemic on different sectors, but it is clear that the global economy has slowed down significantly and our two countries were not immune to this. We are now emerging from one of the century's most trying times, hopefully wiser and better equipped for these unforeseen challenges with renewed vigor to rebuild and exceed the gains we have made. The launching last year of negotiations for the ASEAN-Canada Free Trade Agreement and the recent establishment of the Philippine-Canada Joint Economic Commission bring us closer to our common objective of boosting regional and bilateral trade and investment. We can all look to the immediate future with more optimism as opportunities for in-person exchanges gain momentum while trade between the Philippines and Canada continues to expand. I wish you all a happy Canada Day. Mabuhay ang Canada. Mabuhay ang Pilipinas. Yet again in Canada as we speak. I had one there just a few months ago. 
so education is really important. From my perspective, these are young Filipinos who are being well educated but also become many ambassadors for the future, for the coming years. Young people who know Philippines, who know Canada, can build more bridges, including young entrepreneurs, scientists, politicians, you name it, who will help build, continue to build and strengthen the already strong people to people relationship between these two countries. We have an excellent relationship at the embassy with the Chamber of Commerce here, I'm very pleased to say. Uh, and uh, we are pleased, for example, to be uh, involved in um, some of the Canadian wine circulating here. It's courtesy of the Canadian embassy of being in this program. And I'm also pleased to say that Canada Beef, a leading agricultural association, um, is sponsoring the Canadian beef that you're being, uh, that you're enjoying here uh, at this uh, buffet. Um, it's been an uncertain time. Uh, a pandemic and now with war in Europe, affecting inflation, interest rates, supply chains, ultimate challenges, but by working together as members of the Chamber of Commerce and working closely with the embassy, we are much stronger together than, than independently. So I'm really pleased to see so many of you here to celebrate 155 years of Canadian Confederation and four provinces, Quebec, Ontario, New Brunswick, and Nova Scotia, came together in 1867 and provided the critical mass for the rest of the country to form, ending in uh, Newfoundland and the three territories um, most recently. So across Canada we are celebrating, but we're also conscious of, as I said in my op-ed piece yesterday, in the Philippine Star, conscious that uh, the environment is very much on people's minds. And interestingly, President Marcos, you say Mark, President Marcos now, um, has on his mind climate change. Uh, he's got agriculture and climate change as two of his top priorities, which very much mesh with Canadian uh, niche areas. Um, on investment, also we see progress. I can say that at least one significant Canadian company is close to deciding on establishing an office here in Manila. Uh, we have Canadian pension funds already active and getting more interested in Manila. I'm pleased to see the diversity of companies from mining ICT, to services, financial services, right across the spectrum of people represented here tonight. And we're really happy that you're here celebrating with us uh, the Canadian and the Filipino uh, connection. But the good news is we're also diversifying from agriculture uh, and, um, and education to new areas such as infrastructure, especially green infrastructure, smart cities, green cities. Uh, defensive security, as the uh, AFP modernizes its equipment, we are a major supplier uh, of uh, defense technology. We also have uh, regular visits by our Navy. Here we expect another Navy frigate uh, in the coming months in support of regional security, and you all know the Canada stands with many others in support of the uh, Filipino position on its uh, territorial maritime sovereignty. Some of our cabinet ministers were very much on this region and we expect the Philippines to benefit. Importantly, his top priority right now is to hold a joint economic commission, our first between the Philippines and Canada, at the assistant deputy minister level. And why are we holding this? To say Canada to grease the skids and help both the governments push along an ASEAN Canada free trade agreement negotiation, which was launched in November last year. We also want this Joint Economic Commission to provide a platform for business, for CanCham, and for other chambers of commerce and industry associations, so we can in to be able to present directly to senior levels of government on what needs to be done, and also to report on progress that has happened. So both challenges and opportunities. For the first time, the business community CanCham will be able to address a joint session. Um, and we hope to do this live as opposed to virtual in the coming uh, months. Um, and I think I'm going to be uh, concluding soon by saying yes. So yesterday, I met with uh, President Marcos, Vice President Duterte. Um, they were very gracious with the time with the diplomatic community. Uh, I did mention some of the themes I mentioned to you this evening. He has visited Quebec and British Columbia in earlier years, knows Canada quite well and understands that we have a niche area that we can help on. And uh, I think uh, with his very strong economic team, which is being named, the new foreign minister, which is named today, 
uh, who was a current permanent rep of the United Nations. I met him when I first arrived here. He was under secretary, former ambassador uh, to the United Kingdom, a career civil servant here, diplomat, and I think he is very, compliments very well the new DCI secretary and uh, the new secretary of finance. Um, and, and other members of that team, the Central Bank also. So this is good news for us. And uh, it's interesting that the president really appreciates the, this clear, this reality of interconnectedness. And he made it very clear to all of us diplomats that the Philippines could get past the pandemic, to get over the economic crisis, to make the kind of progress that he visits. He cannot do it alone, they must involved the international community, and we were well represented there, and we had a chance to speak to him as Vice President. He and agriculture, she and education are going to be key players for us, and uh, these are two areas that I can assure you, the embassy of the government can will continue working on, ever as far as they say, but we always will include and think about the Kanchan interests when it comes to moving the relationship along. So, um, with that, I want to thank you very much, and wish you all a very pleasant Canada Day uh, and this uh, Friday as we go into in Canada into a long weekend. Not sure you're getting a long weekend here, but in Canada they are. Uh, I wish you very well uh, with this gathering. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. No birthday uh, would be proper without a cake, and we do have a cake there. And we know the national colors of the Philippines are red, white, and blue, but the national taste is chocolate. Oh, you're going. <laughs> Happy Canada Day. Happy Canada Day. Happy Canada Day. Happy Canada Day.
señores, estamos muy contentos que estén aquí con nosotros. Esta noche les venimos presentando el Columpio 360, peleando en contra del alto, fuerte, guapo, carismático, que les digo el rompe corazones de todas las chicas de aquí de Montreal. El Con sus encajes de lino, zapatitos con tacones de madera. De mis sueños tu presencia se apodera. Luz y a la hija de un amor que lanza. Una promesa al tiempo de la mudanza. Cuando se acaban los peces en el río. Me resisto a destruir. El amor mío En este mundo ya no existen los amores Los botones se mueren Sin dar sus flores Pienso y miro el agua que fue cristalina Tus pasitos de esperanza me reanima. 